All right, so we're not going to tell you our decks yet until we all flip. So, Sh shuffle the stones for Okay. All right. All right. We'll go ahead and I'll roll dice. See who goes first. We'll do high roll. Get a five. You got a five, and I get a see twelve. So twelve. So, all first, right. So uh, I will go first, obviously. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. All right. So let's go ahead and start uh, off. Best of luck to you, sir. Yeah, me too. Um, go ahead and do one. I will do all do one too. Okay. All right. All right. So go ahead and flip. So I will be playing uh, Kaya 3.0, a uh, friend from another world. And I will be playing uh, Liberator of Wind. Okay. So for you guys that don't know, um, at the beginning of the game, I could actually search my magic stone and place one on, on top. And that's any stone from his uh, stone deck and just place it on top. Um, that pretty much gives him uh, free range to um, know what he wants his uh, first turn by looking at his hand. So So I'll set the stone that I want over here. Go ahead and cut, sir. All right. Shall we begin? Yep. Go for it. So I'll start by uh, playing Artemis Bow. So you'll get two counters on that, just so I know. I'll go ahead and uh, tap for a stone, and I use Ruler's Memorial. And I will go ahead and pass. Okay, so he probably does have a defensive play um, set up for me. So let's see. go ahead and call a stone. Uh, for you guys uh, for, who don't know what Kali's effect is, I can spend a Moon Will um, as if it were green. So Sounds pretty good to go me. Go ahead and uh, use the Moon for green and play a Moon Breeze off. Uh, do you have a response? No, sir. All right. Um, I'll go ahead and pass. All right. I'll go ahead and draw. Go ahead and uh, recover everything. And I will... Pepper stone, which is a second ruler's memorial. So I'll go ahead and uh, play my my two will to summon my Lancelot. Um, I'll respond, tap Moonbreeze Elf, and cast Wall of Wind. Um, what Wall of Wind does is pretty much it cancels a target spell unless the controller uh, decides to pay one extra will. So since he's uh, tapped out right now, um, he doesn't have that option. And I will pass turn to you, sir. I'll go ahead and draw. Tap. Tap for a uh, will for stone. I'll go ahead and I'll play um, Apollo. Um, what the regalia does is it gives my J Rail flying. I can also tap it to produce moon. I can only spend that will only to uh, play Awakening Cost or to play Judgment or Guards Art of uh, J Rollers that have Kagya in the name. So I can also tap it, um, banish it, and bounce one of my creatures back to my hand. So. All right. Let's see what I want to do here. Uh, card name? I have four. Four. So we'll do this. I'll go ahead and uh, produce me. Yes. Spend that to play familiar, which lets me draw a card. Yes. Go ahead, summon a priest. Go ahead and tap for lights and summon my Gwyver. Sounds good. Um, after that, I will uh, say go. All right, I will go ahead and draw. So here I'm joining a, a Susan, pretty much. Um, would probably be the worst case scenario right now. 
So let's see if he actually does in fact have it. Aura will go ahead and recover everything. I will rest for a stone and I get a uh, magic sword with Moonlight. He pretty much has any option for any color right now, so he is sitting in a good position depending on what he has in his hand. Okay. Um, I will actually play three. So it looks like he does have to uh, one king show. One king show. Huh. Oh. I will actually uh, chase Elvish Priest effects, producing green. Yes. And I will let it resolve. Yes. I will summon my. Here. All good. And I will actually go into uh, my battle and I'll swing at your Gwyver. Uh, I will respond, <clears throat> tapping Apollo and returning Gwyver to my hand. Yes. Banishing it. Um, and with that being said, I don't, can't do anything else, so I will uh, pass through to you. Alright. Go ahead and draw. Tap for stone. Hit another Moonbreeze Memoria. It's always good. Play that. I will actually uh, pass my turn. Alright, I will draw for my turn. Uh, recover. Uh, I will declare my attack. And swing in for eight. I'll take it. Puts me at thirty-two. And I will attempt to uh, play dead side. Uh, that's good. Rest for a stone. And I will pass her to you, sir. All right. I'll go ahead and draw. Uh, during my recovery, go ahead and pay three. Summon a. Uh, BC, targeting your Garrett. Yes. And responses? No. Okay. You're all good. Alright. Main phase, recover everything. Go ahead and uh, tap her stone. Hit another Moon Breeze Memorial. Go ahead and uh, use the Moon for green. Summon a Moon Breeze Elf. Pay this for light. Summon a McGuire. Good to me. Um, um I will say go. Alright. And at my at your uh, end phase, I will actually play uh space time anomaly. Okay. And uh what this what this card does is uh I can target a J slash resonator and it gains uh, minus five, minus five until the end of the turn, and then I uh, draw a card. So with this I will actually target your elf. My elf. Mm. That's fine. So this goes to the grave. I will draw. Uh, do you have anything? Oh, you're good. All right. So I will draw. Return. And then I will. Play two more and activate this again during the recovery, targeting your uh, Gwyver. Oh, uh, that's fine. Okay, so this now gets removed from the game, and I will draw one. So I will recover everything. So that puts Gwymer at 
Um, I will attempt to play better beer. Um, we'll go ahead. Mr. Green, uh, cast Zeke's. That's what's funny. That's good for me. I will tap for a stone. Uh, attempt to play a Percival. That's fine. So I got a Percival and a Gawain. Actually, grab the Percival. Go on the bottom. That. I will play my last will to summon my Percival. That's good. I will grab the bow. Okay. I was actually really hoping of getting that. But we'll see what we have. So I will attempt to play hard as well. That's good. All right. Looking at my two counters. And then I will have Gare. At the start of your uh, battle step, I'll go ahead and uh, chase. Faces his back, producing light, casting shiny strike on it. Rest. Yes. I'll go ahead and draw my card. And I can't do anything else, so your turn. Alright, go ahead and draw. Recover everything. I'll actually uh, go ahead and uh, cast Once Completed Refuge, which uh, whenever this card enters my field, I draw a card. Um, and whenever a spell or ability my opponent controls would target a J resident I control, I can banish it and cancel it. Okay. Go ahead and draw. Go ahead and rest with stone. Um, I'll cast another Winds of Clutter Refuge. Did you get anything you need? Nothing useful. Um, go ahead and uh, play this. Summon an Elvish Priest. Alright. Um, I'll go ahead and swing direct for 12. Wyvern? I will take 12. Okay. Which will put me at 28. 28. Um, I will go ahead and... Uh, let's see, how many cards do you have in there? I have three. Three. I'll go ahead and pass. Alright, I will draw. And just double... Double check. Uh, this is a spell or ability. Correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will proceed to recover everything. Sorry about that. Uh, phone cut off. So. Uh,
Right now, nothing happened, uh, but it's still deciding on what to do. So. so I will go ahead and proceed to recover everything. And uh, right now, he's, he's sitting at a pretty good uh, board, board presence. That could all change really quick, though. I'll actually play one to uh, equip uh, Witch's Dagger onto uh, my Percival. Oh, that's fine. And I will proceed to banish to uh, draw three cards. Mm -hmm. To, to uh, equip Ami onto my uh, carrier. That's fine. Which will put him at a 12 uh, 12. And I will have Garrett swing directly for uh, 1200. That's fine. Okay, so put me at 2000. Actually, spend my my three will. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. In an attempt to uh, summon my Susan. That's fine. By, and then I will activate uh, Susan's effect to add the uh, Ame mm -hmm. from hand, and using his second ability, I will choose to uh, shoot the priest. Oh, uh, Chase wants to clear the refuge. Fine. Yes. All right. And then with that, I will have Susan attack directly for uh, 16. I'll take it. Puts me at 400. <laughs> and I will uh, pass to you, sir. All right. Go ahead and draw. Her jacket cost is one light, um, one moon, and one colorless. So she flips over. Um, Kaya, the moonlight savior. Um, here on out. Go ahead and uh, swing for 12. I will take it. Which will put me at 16. Mm -hmm. And uh, does Kagi have any effects? Uh, she does. Uh, I can. She still has the same effect as the roller side. I can spend Moon um, to produce green. Um, whenever I awaken a card, I can put two 100 counters on it. I can pay a Moon to cancel a target automatic ability. And I can pay one light, one colorless, permit the next damage that will be dealt to her. Okay. Sounds good. Um, with that, I'll pass my turn. All right. I will go ahead and draw. Uh, recover everything. So Buddy is in a very powerful position right now with two Almays on board. So So I will start by attacking with Garrett. Um during the start of the battle step, I'll use a God's Art by paying one light, one moon, and three colorless. Um, her god's art is Light of Sacred Moon. Um, it rests all J resonance to your opponent controls. And then I recover all magic stones I control. Then I may pay awakening cost moon less this turn. So. Is that all? So, pretty good to me. Okay. 
I will go ahead and attempt to play my personal. Um, I will cancel her ability. Can't move. No, she just stayed on the field. I will play a barrier of shadows. Uh, that's fine. Liberator of Wind, uh, it's Jack Bay Cost, is uh, I can pay one color list and uh, two green. So uh, when she uh, J activates, she has an inter effect of I can search my main deck for uh, any card. And I'll go ahead and just uh, cancel that as well. I'll paint a move. Sounds good to me. Um, and I will go ahead and uh, pass turn. All right. I'll go ahead and draw. Not what I wanted, but I guess it will do for now. I'll go ahead and I'll swing for 12. Yep, I will take it. So we're both even at 400 life points. Um, yes, two blockers. Sadly, won't do enough for me. Go ahead and uh, swing it for seven hundred. I will actually block with uh, Shaker's on. Alright. Okay, it's fine. Mm -hmm. And this has uh, turned out to be quite the duel. Deciding on what to do right now. Mm. Oh, man. Let's see what Eric can do. Let's see here. All tapped out. Go ahead and uh, swing for 500. Uh, direct? Yep. I will go ahead and uh, block with my personal. That is fine. Uh, after that, um, I'll say go. All right. Let's see. Uh, be the last turn, most likely. I will draw my card. Um, I will attempt to uh, attack directly with here. I will pay two. Tap. Tap in this, I banish it, bounce piecing to my hand. Yes. 
Hang three, Will, while on the chase. Yes. Three summoning my feasting. And uh, targeting your Garrus for from our effects. Okay. So I will take no damage from that. Sounds good. I will uh, play Shining Strike to uh, actually rest your PC. Sorry about that again. Uh, All right. So I just went ahead and played uh, Shining Strike. Facing, I'll just chase your effect by producing green. All right. I will go ahead and uh, draw my card. And then I will uh, attack directly. Uh, with Susan for uh, 16. All right. Good game. All right. Thanks. Uh, good game. All right. So that will uh, wrap it up for game one, guys. Um, we will post this video up, and we will uh, perhaps uh, do a game two uh, probably either t today or tomorrow. So, um, so yeah. So um, if, if you like this video, uh, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, we will share this on Facebook. So, you know, whoever is following us on the Facebook uh, Force of Will page, We'll see this video, and if you guys want to follow our own page that we will be making uh, shortly, um, you guys can just hit us up there, and you know we'll keep you updated for uh, videos, content, and uh, news, and all that good stuff. So, yep. And um, if uh, for whatever reason, if you guys didn't like uh, the video, uh, go ahead and uh, comment in the uh, comment section below on what you guys uh, didn't like, what we could improve on um, the decks. Uh, we will be uh, uploading uh, a deck profile. Uh, to you guys um and that's uh pretty much it guys so like um hope you guys like the video and we'll see you again next time